Hello friends, welcome to a world which has changed. A world which has changed so drastically in the last six months that we just can't imagine. At this point of time, we would have been sitting in our classrooms, pretending to listen to our lectures, having fun with our classmates, and a lot of action in the college. But then, that's not to be so. It's not that you need to be disheartened about it. It's all about a change that's here to stay. A change that we did not expect, but then we have no option but to adapt. A change which has posed a lot of challenges. A change that has also provided a lot of opportunities. Sitting in your homes, listening to me is a technological opportunity that you have in this period of crisis. Well friends, change is inevitable. Change is the only thing that is constant in this world. And again, I repeat, we have no option but to adapt to the changes going all around us. Friends, I always envy you all. I envy you all because you are at the prime of your youth. I can't buy it with any money that I have. I don't have for that matter. But still, if I had a lot of money, still the richest man can never buy his youth or childhood days. So, enjoy your life because this time is not going to come again. Friends, I'm here to share a few things which you may always have thought of, which you may know, which you are aware of, but then which you may not have applied. Well, I'm here to share a few thoughts that will make quite a difference in the way we look at our, ourselves, the way we look at things, the way we look at others, and the way we live. Because at the end of the day, we are born to live. I repeat, we are born to live, not exist. There's a difference between this live and exist. I have a small story to tell. Friends, this is the story of Mac. Mac was 14 year old when he died and he had his body wrapped in the tricolor that is the Indian flag. His coffin was placed where officers came, saluted and laid wreaths. He was given a 21 gun salute and then he was buried. Wonderful, right? At 14, this Mac had this state ceremonial burial or cremation to be more precise. I'm talking about a Mac who lived while his tribe, millions of them are on the roadside 
in the streets waiting for food to be served by somebody being pelted with stones and most of them homeless well i'm sure you would be wondering who this mac was this mac is an alsatian dog serving or rather served in the indian army this mac was deputed under the spg or black cat commandos the special protection force and was responsible for saving many lives in the bombay blasts that took place where kasab and his gang came and ransacked bombay as if they were playing firecrackers i'm sure you would appreciate and you would have understand and you would have realized that the story of mac becomes a guiding light to all of us that we need to live and not just exist friends as i told you i'm going to share a few thoughts no big gyan or rocket science that i'm going to talk to you i'm only going to put forth a few thoughts that could make you rethink of the way you look at things it's very important that i need to understand where i stand and that is why it's important that we keep thinking as to where we are what we are how we are and also what exactly we are going to do or we are doing now is it beneficial to all concerned is it giving a ray of hope to humanity i am not talking big things when i say ray of hope if you do a difference in one's life or in the life of a few around you i'm sure that is what is called living and with this youthfulness cheerfulness and abundance of creativity innovation ideas forethought and eagerness to do a lot of things in this world i'm sure at this age you will be sitting and rethinking of tomorrow well if you have to think of tomorrow we have to start today so let's live the moment and let's take things as they come because right in the beginning i said change is inevitable and when we understand that change is inevitable we adapt to that system well friends the first thing i would like to put forth is this wonderful stage of your life what do you think of this stage of your life sit for a moment and think well according to me this stage of life is something wonderful something out of this world something that once passes away you're not going to get it back well this stage of life is the stage of life where you are at the prime at the prime of your youthfulness you are the sweet 16 well you know why we call it sweet 16 just look at this
What is this? Well, the teen begins at 13. Yes? Teen begins at 13. And then you have 14, 15 and 16. And then next year you will be in your own world thinking about your careers, your 12th standard examinations, the board examinations to crack, the IITs to crack, the JEEs to crack and various other things to crack and finally you crack down. Mm? And that is where your youthfulness goes down. And so this is when more challenges, more competition, more effort needs to be put in life. And so you are down with your levels. And this is how the teen age cycle stands according to me. And where are you? You are on top of it. And that is why you are sweet. And that is why this stage of life is so wonderful. So, first of all, make the best use of this stage of life because you will not get it again. Throughout my session, some of the issues or some of the aspects or some of the words I would be repeating and I would often repeat certain things on purpose. Well, one of the things that I want to repeat every time, you repeat to yourself every time is enjoy the moment. Enjoy this life, enjoy this moment that you have with you. So, this is it. You are at the prime of your teens and it's for you to make the best use of it. Well friends, sadly, our education system has many a shortcomings and one of the shortcomings is evident that we are behind or haunted by a demon called examinations. We run after marks from grade one, from grade first standard, the teacher says you should get A plus. If you don't get A plus, you are useless. Grade five, fifth standard, you run after the marks. If you get 94 out of 100, your dad will ask, Aru marki arge kottadu. Huh? He wouldn't appreciate you getting 94. Hmm? This is the state of affairs. When you come to 9th and 10th standard board exams, you are after that percentage. I remember many of my students calling me up after their results. May it be 10th standard or 2nd PU and telling me, Sir, I'm going to apply for revaluation. And I asked them, what is your percentile? And they say, 98.6, sir. So at 98.6, the guy wants to go for revaluation. This is the state of affair uh, that we are in. I'm telling this for a simple reason. Well, friends, throughout, from first standard to the 10th standard, what have you been doing? You have been going to school to study, right? Yes. You have been going to school to study. And why do you study? For your examination. Even the topper of 10th grade 
would finally take a sigh of relief. Abba, it's all over. So that is how we take studies. That is how we are taking the 10th standard. That is how we are taking life. Running after the exam in the rat race of competition, peer pressure, societal expectations, parental expectations, expectations of the teachers. You don't get good percentage, you are regarded useless. This is how we go about and we have reached this stage. We have come out of an institution called school. We are getting into a new institution called college. From the comfort zone of school, we are now in the more open environment of college. So when you are here, you need to understand a few things because life is not going to be as easy as we think. But then life is absolutely not as tough as you may foresee. So in this point of time, we need to understand a few things that can help us keep ourselves in one fit shape and move ahead to face the challenges of this world. So friends, I was telling you, we all go to school and you're still coming to college, continue your education and in the process of this education, what do you do? You You study, right? Remember this word? Well, you would like to forget it. Yes, because right from the age of six, in your first standard, maybe February or March, you have started listening to this word. Study, study, study. You go to school, your teacher says, studies are very important. You have to study. You go home, before your mom gives you a cup of tea, first thing she will ask, what did you study in school? This is the tragedy. But then, as I told you, certain things, we have to take it as it comes. So, in this process of studying, we have forgotten something. And if we have to remember that, let me tell you, from this moment onwards, from the time that you have interacted with me in this session, from this moment onwards, I would give you a mantra for your life. Please, Stop studying. Well, I can see a lot of you smiling. Huh? A broad smile. Feeling that sense of ah. Huh? Or the giggle saying, such a fool he is. Hmm? We are all here to study. And this stupid fellow is telling, don't study. Stop studying. Well friends, as I told you, in the process of this rat race, studying, studying and studying, we have forgotten something called learning. We have forgotten something called learning. And that's why we are the way we are. We might get through our graduation, We might get through an engineering degree. We might have a piece of paper called the Certificate of Bachelor in Engineering. 
But then, how many bachelors in engineering are capable of creating something? Engineering is to be creating something. Well, we cannot create because we have only studied. We have not learned. So friends, it's very important that you stop studying and you start learning. Well, do you understand the difference? If you don't, let me tell you. Studying is a process which is a burden. Even as I told you, the topper in class 10, after the final exam, the last paper, she would take the books and keep it in a place where she does not want to see it again. Or dump it in a place, not keep it in a place. Huh? This is how we take studies. But then, when you learn, you keep those books in such a place that you can see them every day. That is the process of learning. Learning is fun. Learning is involvement. Learning is with keen interest. And learning comes from within. Whereas studies are trust on us. So friends, it's important that we stop studying from now on and start learning. Start learning your accountancy. Start learning your mathematics. Start learning your computer science. Start learning your history. And you will see how interesting the subject is. Studies are for your examinations. Learning is for life. How many of you remember what you studied in class 7? I don't think many would remember or you might remember it vaguely. How many of you remember you studied in 5th standard? Oh, forget it, sir. Huh? But then, if I ask you, how many of you remember Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Everyone remembers. Oh, that is 12 years ago. But then, the difference is, you are not in class 1. You are in your kindergarten. And there, you are learning. You learnt it. You enjoyed it. You had fun singing reciting twinkle twinkle little star or hickory dickory dock or undu yaradu balele haradu it is 40 odd years 45 odd years that i learned these songs but i still remember how do i remember because i learned it i don't remember my 10th standard social studies I don't remember what I studied in what, whatever that is, the Ohm's law or uh, whoever those people are, uh, Mandel, uh, uh, Gregory Mandelin's uh, uh, chemical charts and things like that. Uh, I'm sorry, I have forgotten it. Hmm? But then I still remember my kindergarten teacher jumping with joy teaching us or singing along with us those rhymes so friends i'm sure you understood it two years ago what you have studied you would surely not remember but then 10 years ago if you have learned something you will definitely remember i'm sure all of you would know cycling if you don't bicycle for 10 years and one fine day you get a bicycle in front of you 
can you ride the bicycle definitely yes you have not swam for 10 years you learned swimming 10 years ago for some reason you are into the water can you swim yes you can you will well friends that's because you learned nobody learns cycling with textbooks there is no open university or a correspondence course for swimming because all these are learning process anything that can be studied can be studied anywhere and forgotten of course very soon so learning is for life and the beauty of learning yet another beauty of learning is that you enjoy it have you failed while learning cycling definitely yes i have fallen i have broken my leg or i have seen the leg bleeding but then have you cried yes a little because of the pain but then when i failed i got up looked here and there if somebody is looking at me make gave a big smile look at this beauty of this uh, gave a big smile and then took off again that is the beauty of learning when you fail you don't cry but then in the process of studying when you fail i'm sorry to tell that during the period one week before and after the results being announced all the water bodies are being guarded by policemen hmm? you know why obviously huh? there are chances that the vulnerable minds think of the disastrous end so friends start learning well in this process of learning learning is all about interest involvement and internalization the three eyes i would call with interest when you involve yourself you internalize and it stays forever that is the process of learning and in this process of learning let me give you a few tips as to how to go about well there's a wonderful shloka in the vidur niti it says shad dosha ha purushe neva hatatva bhuti michyati shad dosha ha shad means six six dosha negative qualities or negatives shad dosha ha purushe neva bhuti michyati means it kills you hmm? which are these six it's beautiful hmm? and you will immediately relate with this this is told thousands of years ago huh? and these six shad dosha that kills a man are nidra tandra bhayam krodah alasyam dirga sutratam ya yeah? shad dosha purushe neva hatatva bhuti michyati nidra tandra bhayam krodah alasyam dirghamayuh nidra hmm? the sleep is very good as long as you have sufficient of it everything for that matter food is very good as long as you have sufficient but not excess when it becomes excess it becomes a dosha it becomes a negative it kills you nidra tandra what is tandra well you get up from your sleep 
but then you are lethargic hmm? you are lethargic that is tandra you don't want to do anything absolutely no interest that is tandra you are awake but still sleepy nidra tandra bhayam frightened fear fear is yet another negative fear of examinations fear of getting less marks fear of somebody else well when we talk about examination your parents are not much bothered about you they are bothered about the neighbor who gets more marks than you this is the problem huh? so friends nidra tandra bhayam fear never fear kill the fear and you will kill somebody who would otherwise kill you nidra tandra bhayam krodaha anger at this point of time who are you angry with you are angry with your parents you are angry more angry with your teachers hmm? natural hmm? and this anger manifests in different ways at different times as we grow and this anger will kill us so we had sleep nidra lethargy tandra bhayam anger uh, bhayam fear anger and then you have the fifth one alasyam laziness lethargy is different laziness is different you are perfectly awake but then you don't want to do it you are lazy to get up that inertia is not there that is laziness lethargy is still you are in the dowsy mode but laziness is more dangerous when you are lethargic you can be woken up when you are lazy it's very difficult laziness becomes a quality so friends nidra tandra bhayam krodah alasyam this is the most important sixth one hmm? the sixth one is dirga sutra tam which we are all very good at hmm? what is that procrastination hmm? putting it for the next day hey ivattu beda naale maduva ha iga beda matte maduva ha putting it forward postponing things that's a very dangerous thing that will kill you well it's so beautifully said in this vidurniti hmm shad dosha ha purushene eva nidra tandra bhayam krodah alasyam dirga sutrata well it's very easy for me to tell all these six negatives are in me too hmm you have heard of this me too campaign huh? everything is me too huh? i am also lethargic i am also lazy i am also a person who procrastinates but then i am telling you this because i know its effect i know what happens with all this inside you and so i always say the best marriage counselor is somebody who is divorced because he knows everything about in and out about marriage or the best person to give you business advice is somebody who has utterly failed in his business because he knows in and out the shortcomings of the business so that's how i am telling you i too am a person with all these six negatives but then slowly when i realize that these are six negatives and its impact i always have the guilt to change it that's how the learning process happens 
I'm connecting everything to learning process because life is all about learning. So friends, I give you the six. Sleep, lethargy, fear, anger, and, and, yes, laziness, and finally, procrastination. Well, Kabir Das has beautifully said, even with regard to procrastination. Yeah? Do you remember? I learnt this Doha. Because I had a wonderful Hindi teacher hmm, when I was in. And this session is not that I have prepared and come here with the framework. I am just blabbering out of what is coming to my mind with life experiences that I am sharing. Well, Kabir Das has beautifully said, Kal kare so aaj kar, aaj kare so ab. Kal mein parlay hoegi, bahuri karega kab. Right? So what you want to do? So see, who expected Corona? Who expected this monstrous thing called COVID-19? So, kal mein parlay hoegi. There is a chance that tomorrow there might be a disaster. So when will you do things that you have to do? So if you have to do something tomorrow, do it today. If you have to do it, do something today, do it now. So a beautiful thing about procrastination. So friends, when we talk of this, learning process I always have a simple so the first formula in learning process was simple three eyes or the very first is stop studying start learning and in this learning process I gave you a simple formula of three eyes Interest, involvement, internalization. When you show interest, you involve. And when you involve, you internalize. And that is there forever. Again, I am repeating this. As I told you, some of the things, when we keep repeating, when it echoes in our minds, there is a change that happens. Every year during the monsoon, what do you do to a coconut tree? We do the milching. Yeah? Mannati gitewe, mix up, little bit of salt, little bit of whatever manure, and then why do we do that? Even if you don't do that, the coconut tree will be there. But then why do you do that? Simply because you need more yield. Similarly, now and then, keep cut chewing. Keep remembering. Keep milching your mind. Your mind is like an iron rod. If you let it rest, it will rust. So, I was telling you about the three eyes and finally, a simple formula that will make a great impact in your life. It has definitely made in mine. And that is no rocket science. It's simple 3 E formula. I started with a word and I will end it with the same word. What 
what is the first E? As I told you, you are on top. You are in the peak of your youthfulness. You are in the peak of your teen at this moment. And in the peak of your teen, what do you have? You have abundance of energy. You have abundance of energy. So, you need to channelize this energy. How do you channelize this energy? Most of us are either lethargic or lazy. Why are we lethargic or lazy? We are lethargic or lazy because of this E factor. Because we lack We lack enthusiasm. We have a lot of energy, but then no, somebody else will do it. If that is the attitude, chalta hai is the attitude, then nothing is going to work. Well, people come to me and say, Sir, I'm very confident, but I cannot speak in public. Why can't you speak in public? Because you're not enthusiastic. I need to speak in public. And you automatically enthuse yourself and channelize that energy. So, what is enthusiasm? In simple terms, I would like to say, Dr. Kota Shivaram Karan, the walking encyclopedia, the greatest among the literateurs of Karnataka, or for that matter, a Dayan in his own right. Kota Shivaram Karan, at the age of 95, he would tie anklets, Gejje Katti. He would do Yakshagana with youngsters. That is enthusiasm. I had a mathematics teacher in my college. He was 55 plus when I was studying. He would retire in another three years. This old man, when he would derive a calculus formula, when he comes to the end of the formula, he would jump up as if he has discovered that for the first time. That is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is something that motivates us all the time and that gives the energy and this abundance of energy can be channelized only when you are enthusiastic. And finally, this is the problem with all of us. We don't enjoy what we are doing. We don't enjoy what we are doing. This has become standard operating procedure of our education system, SOP what we call uh, in technical terms. So friends, enjoy, enjoy whatever you are doing, you will not get what you deserve, you will not get what you desire. See two things, deserve and desire. You will not get. World is not so kind that it will give everything that you want. So whatever you get, you enjoy. And that will make you get what you deserve. Right? So I started off talking about change. I started off talking about crisis. I talk about, I started talking about challenges and I told you in the time of crisis, in the time of challenges, in the time of competition, the rat race that I was talking about, what do you have to do? You have to enjoy the moment. When you enjoy the moment, that is when we can say our learning process is on the right track.
as I told you, learning is for life. And learning will never end. Your studies will end. But then I have told you, from this moment onwards, stop studying. So, your studies have ended. You have started a new process called learning. So friends, keep learning, keep enjoying and keep moving ahead. Thank you.